Hi, I am Dr. Anupama. I am an ophthalmologist. I practice in Whitefield and in Marathalli. I care during pregnancy. Do you have to have any uh, special concern about your eyes when you are pregnant? Not everyone. I mean, you don't have to panic. You know, uh, pregnancy is a very happy uh, thing in every woman's life, and uh, you don't have to get stressed out about care of eyes. But there is a small, um, you know, note that I would like to uh, share with you. People who are short-sighted, you can notice that your, you know, uh, prescription might increase, especially as the pregnancy advances. This is because uh, because of the hormonal changes in the body the fluid retention in the body increases which also happens in the eyes so the cornea becomes a little thicker so you may feel that your glasses are not as sharp as they used to be and you may find that your number has increased but that is fine that is absolutely normal that is absolutely okay you don't have to panic you can get your glasses changed because you know it will take a while before these changes revert back but they do go back to your original pre-pregnancy levels after the delivery but it will not be immediately after delivery it may take about maybe even six to eight months because you will still be nursing you will still be feeding your child so your hormonal levels will still not have settled down so once they settle down um, these changes do go back to your original um, levels or even sometimes people who are not sh short-sighted can notice that they are becoming a little short-sighted but it will not be a major change like you will not go from a minus 1 to a minus 4 or anything like that it may be like a 0.5 or a 0.75 of a change but uh, you know nothing to worry about it no, it's just that it's a normal thing that happens with you during pregnancy and it does not happen with all women either it may happen it may not happen so it's not that you have to rush to the eye doctor as soon as you hear you're pregnant but if you do notice that your vision is getting a little blurred, then maybe yes, you, you can go and get it checked out. But it's not mandatory that you have to do that. The other thing that can happen is if you're wearing contact lenses. Contact lens intolerance is you know, known during pregnancy because again the same thing. The cornea swells up, the power changes and there are a lot of dry eye situations during pregnancy because of the hormonal changes. So your contact lens can become you know, a little uh, pain in the eye because you, know, uh, you may feel like uh, removing them even after a couple of hours because the eyes get very dry. See contact lenses um, use up your tears to keep themselves moist. So if your eyes are dry, they become even drier. So you may be you know, you know, able to wear your lenses only for four hours, whereas before you were probably wearing it for whole day with no problems. So you know, there's no problem with that. If they are intolerant, you can use tear supplements over the contact lenses if you really have to use them, or just switch to glasses you know, during the pregnancy. And then you can get back into contact lenses after the delivery. But again, it's you know n nothing to worry about. It will all you know settle down once uh, your baby is delivered and you're getting back to your normal self. Some uh, women may develop hypertension during pregnancy, or your BP may go up. You may develop diabetes, which is called gestational diabetes. Your blood sugars may rise because of pregnancy. These are the ladies that probably should have an eye exam because the changes in blood pressure and changes in blood sugar levels can also cause changes in your eye, especially in the retina. So if the blood pressure is very high or it's not controlled, there can be bleeding in the eye, which again will cause loss of vision or decrease in the vision. So if we do find some changes in the eye, we may recommend certain kinds of treatment for you. So of course the primary treatment would be in controlling the blood pressure and controlling the blood sugar. Sometimes um, the gestational diabetes can kind of you know um, just persist and you may become a diabetic at a very young age. So if that happens then it's very important that you do have your eyes examined every year just to make sure that your retina is not affected and uh, you know make sure that your blood sugars are under control um, throughout your life.